Hey everyone, welcome back to Redder's Art. It's scroller box time and today we've got a rather chunky scroller box. Do you see how thick it is from the side there? Uh, this is February scroller box, so yeah, let's get into it and see what we've got inside. Do, 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 do. Okay. That's our package, which is still nicely sealed, so that's good. We have our scroll zine, which is really pretty. Looks like clouds and rain. Very nice. Ooh, and the print. Ah, oh, it's got fishies on it. Yeah, that's really nice. I like it a lot. I like animal prints, so yeah. And there's their social media, if you want to check them out. Uh, Katie Smith is actually from Scotland, so that's awesome. Also from Scotland here. <laughs> and the last thing in the box is this really nice A5 Aqua Pad by Claire Fontaine. Claire Fontaine paper is always really nice. Oh, it's really thick. Nice watercolour paper there. Uh, what is it? It's, uh, oh, it's really thick, yeah, 300. Okay, so we've got some kind of watercolours then. Let's see what we have. Ooh, it looks like um, one of those travel palette things. Let's put this aside so I don't get spoiled. Ooh, nice. A Derwent. Doesn't say what it is on the back, but I'm guessing it's a watercolor palette. And we have fizzy rolls. Yummy. We'll be munching on those. And ah, oh, good old jelly roll. Always love getting a jelly roll because I go through them so quickly. So yeah. Great, I'll have a new one, yay! So that's it, that's all we have. I think I'm gonna have to look on the menu to find out what this is. So, aha, that's the prompt for this month. And between the reef, that sounds cool, so we can do a fishy kind of artwork. Oh, it's pastel shades. It's a pastel shades pan set, which is really cool. I don't have pastel watercolors or anything like that, so that's cool. Ah, this is a gouache style as well, or gouache, sorry. Gouache style pigmented paints. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, let's um, have a quick look in the scroll zine. Ah, yes, you can see it much better there. Oh, they look really nice. I can't wait to try those. And that's some of Katie Smith's artwork at the bottom there, which is beautiful. She has lots of nature stuff. And some tips for the medium. Um, the Scrawler Gallery for December, which I didn't do because I hadn't restarted back Scrawler Box. Uh, oh, I like the kitty cat one up the corner. They're all really cool. I like those. I like the, uh, it looks like um, Falcor from Neverending Story and Drampa from Pokemon. <laughs> and that's, uh, oh, a Mighty Power of Pastel. Yeah, I, I don't generally use pastel colours. Um, I'm more of a, like, really saturated colours and stuff like that. So having pastels will be a change for me, which will be cool. And yeah, that's it for the scroll zine. Okay, let's um, pop these open and have a look, see what they look like in person. Oh, I love these little travel cases, they're so nice. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you. There we go. So yeah, we got the little um, swatch shade thingy boy. I really like the pink. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're so cute. So cute and pastel. And you get a little brush and a little um, sponge for getting rid of paint on the brush. Ooh, I'm excited. I can't wait to try these. Um, I'm actually doing this scroller box a little bit later than when I got it um, because I've been really busy uh, and I haven't managed to see anyone else's YouTube videos or anything yet. So I've been trying not to spoil myself. So yeah, I'm, and now I can go back and watch everybody else's. Woo <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to try these out. Well, let's have a go with them. Ooh, I have a little uh, quality control thingy in my pad. I feel special. I gotta say, I'm not a massive fan of these uh, water brush pen things. I used to use them loads when I was younger, uh, but now I just I just can't seem to get back into them. I mean, this one looks pretty nice though. It's got a cap on it and everything, so yeah, it's, it looks pretty smart. Uh, we'll see how it works. Try it out. Okay, let's try these lovely watercolours. Okay, that's that's quite light. 
yeah, I mean, it's, it's really nice. It's pastel yellow. It's pretty. Okay, let's try the kind of peach color. Yeah, it's called peach. That is peach. Oh, that's nice. That's a pretty orange. Yeah, that's nice. I think I'm finding it weird because I'm not used to having pastel colors. So it looks all kind of washed out to me, but that's just how it's meant to be. <laughs> Yeah, that's really nice. Let's see what this pink flamingo is like, because that's definitely my favourite so far, looks-wise. Ooh, it's like a hot pink. That's nice. A hot but pastel pink. Yeah, as somebody that has rheumatoid arthritis, um, these pens aren't great, because it says you have to push them, and I find it really hard to push things. So... <laughs> uh, yeah. I prefer a normal paintbrush, really. Ooh, that blue is really nice. I really like that. I think I'm gonna like this next color as well, turquoise. Yes, I really like that color. Ooh, I like that storm gray. It's kind of a red gray. And last but not least, we have silver blue. There's a really nice light pale grey. So yeah, there's all the colours from the palette. Really nice pastel colours. They do exactly what they say on the tin. <laughs> then of course we have the white jelly roll. So let's just try that over the top of these and see if it shows up. Mm, not too much. Jelly rolls can be a bit finicky though. I mean, it's there, but it's very, very light. Yeah, you can't really tell. Let me just zoom in again. You can see I drew a little square in that peach one and a few lines just here, um, but you can't really see it that well. But I'm still happy to get a jelly roll. <laughs> so that's what we've got Squirrel Box this month. Uh, I say it's this month, it's actually February's, but we don't have Marches yet, so I need to catch up on February's as well. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, try out this prompt between the reef and see what we can think of drawing some kind of fish obviously well maybe not fish maybe we could draw something else that's from under the sea i'll have to think about it i'll get back to you okay i just noticed um in the menu it tells you how much these paints are rrp and they're actually 29.99 so yikes no wonder they didn't give us anything else it's like 30 pounds worth of stuff which is almost double what you have to pay for the box, so yeah, that's really good. Well done, Squirrel Box. Okay, so I had a little think, and the first thing that came to my head when I thought of Between the Reef uh, was Little Mermaid, so <laughs> I decided to sketch out this Little Mermaid picture. I just did it off camera just to save time during the video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna paint this with the pastel watercolours and hopefully it will come out quite nice. Uh, I did reference it from a statue of the Little Mermaid, um, one of the Disney statues. So yeah, let's hope it turns out okay and I'm excited to try these pastels. I think I might make it a little bit lighter just with my kneaded eraser first, just to hide the lines a little bit when I paint. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if you can still see that. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to see it once I've started painting it and stuff. Ah, oh, that doesn't fit on the end, that's really annoying. <laughs> so I think first I'm gonna start with the background. Uh, so this is the perfect colors really for a sea background. So we're gonna try with the blue and the turquoise. I'm gonna do a little bit of a wash first, I think, just to dampen the paper slightly. Let's see how this goes down on top of this damp paper. Paint seems to be going down quite nicely. Though. I am by no means an expert with watercolours. Um, hardly ever use them. So please do not um, think that I know what I'm doing. Because <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> These paints are going down really nice. 
I love it when you don't have as much water on it and it's kind of like a really nice dark blue, like you see that, it's really nice. So pretty. Okay, there's the background. Uh, I may have oversaturated the paper a tiny little bit, but it's holding up okay. All right, I think I'm gonna do the rock next that she's sitting on. So I'm gonna do it in this mixture of this nice red gray and also the silver blue color. Okay, I've added a little bit of yellow here as well. Just, I thought it needed a little bit of something there. And I'm intrigued to know if these paints are going to cover each other because it said it was like gouache kind of watercolour so I don't know whether they're going to um, layer okay so we're going to test that in a minute because there's some bits just here like I forgot that there was hair meant to be there so I'm going to try and cover that up and hopefully it'll work. Okay so next I'm going to do Ariel's fin I think just see if I can try and separate it from the background slightly. I'm actually finding that this brush handles pretty well, even though the water coming out of it is not that great. Um, it, it does actually paint quite nicely. You know, I haven't heard much recently about the uh, live action Little Mermaid that they were doing. I haven't seen any trailers or anything like that for it, so I wonder if they're still going ahead with it. I thought it was actually going to be pretty cool. Um, I can't say I'm a massive fan of most of the Disney live action films. Especially the Lion King one, I and mean, that was really disappointing. A massive Lion King fan, so yeah, that wasn't so great. But I was kind of looking forward to the Little Mermaid version, so hopefully it does still come out soon. What about you guys? Do you prefer the originals? I mean, I guess obviously everyone prefers the originals, but you like the live action films? Do you not like them? Let me know your thoughts. And while we're here, let me know your favourite Disney movie down in the comments. Okay. Hmm, not too bad so far. Kind of liking it, loving it. Um, I think we need a bit more definition. Uh, you see the paper is going a little bit um, dark, where I'm putting a more of a wash down. So it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's not liking the water too much, but considering I am putting quite a lot on, it's not that bad. I think I'm gonna try and do her skin. Uh, which is going to be interesting. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see what I can do with the skin. Hopefully it's not going to be too orange. Okay, not too bad at the minute. I'm trying to try and mix the coral pink and the peach together. Just to give it a little bit of... Um, it's more of a skin tone feel. Whoops, that was a lot of pink. Yikes. Let's just blend that in slightly. Okay, so little tip here, if you want to lift watercolours off, you can use a tissue and just hold it down on top of the paper, like so, and it does take away most of the colour. Something I find very hard with watercolours is getting the definition right. Um, I find it looks, I don't know, I feel like there needs to be an outline on it but obviously I can't outline it with watercolours. I don't have a red, so her hair's gonna have to be pink flamingo. <laughs> okay, cute so far. Um, right, I think I'm gonna do the coral and leave Lander till last, I don't know why. Maybe because he's yellow and I don't like using yellow <laughs> that much. <laughs> Okay, and now it's flutter time. Okay, it's starting to get dark, so I'm gonna have to put the light on soon. Um, but I read the Scrawlazine again, and it said that if you layer it after it's dry, it can get a bit darker. So I'm gonna try that. I've started to do it on the fin a little bit here, and on the rock, and a little bit just there. So I'm gonna try and do that, and 
see how it turns out and see if I can get a bit more definition on everything, <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah, sorry about the lighting, it's getting dark now, so I'm gonna have to turn the lights on. Okay, so it's now evening, I've had my dinner, so I'm gonna get back to this. As you can see, I have darkened up in some places, I've edged some places here, uh, darkened the water on this side a little bit as well. Uh, yeah, the shading actually, it works okay. I think I'm trying to um, go too much on the shading when I shouldn't because these are pastel colours so they don't need to be dark if that makes sense. It's not part of what they do so I'm gonna do the best that I can and try and finish this off and I don't know how I'm gonna do the face yet because obviously she's got black rounded eyes so I mean maybe I could use a pen but I feel like it's gonna make it look a bit weird. So yeah I've not decided that yet so I'm just gonna carry on with these little bits down here and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Uh, I'm really happy with it so far. Uh, I'm just gonna fix the face because I tried to colour her eye in and it just blended in with the sea, so <laughs> she's only got one eye right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and darken the, around the eyes. Hopefully I won't destroy it. Um, but for that I need to lean in really close. So I'm just gonna stop recording and then cut back in once it's done. And I think we're done, yay! <laughs> I really like this actually. I managed to go in with the, uh, the paintbrush and do some tiny, tiny eye details. And then I realised that pencil, you know, it works pretty much the same, so I just did a little bit of pencil in the eyes instead. Uh, so yeah, this is how it's turned out. Oh, I haven't done the most satisfying part yet. Yay, there we go, well done. Yeah, I like it. It turned out kind of different to how I wanted it to, but not hugely different. Uh, I think I expected it to be darker, obviously. I'm used to colouring in darker colours, but the pastels turned out really nice in the end. Um, I think it looks like Ariel. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it looks like Ariel? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of my style of Ariel. Uh, yeah, overall I really enjoyed this box, really love the pastel watercolours, they're really nice. The white pen is the only thing that I would really have a complaint about, I mean I love Jelly Roll on everything else, but it just doesn't really go over the top of this. Um, I did have to use my white Posca just to do a little bit of highlights, so I know it's cheating a little bit, but I really wanted a little bit of white highlights in there. Um, and the pen just, it just wouldn't go over the watercolours, so that's my only complaint. Uh, as always, a great box. Thanks, Scrawler Box, for another good one. And yeah, if you want to know how to get your own Scrawler Box, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can grab your own. And let me know what you thought of the box if you've had it, uh, did you like the materials, and what did you draw? I'd be really interested to know what you guys did with your box too. So yeah, let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and please leave a little like if you did. And subscribe for more. I'm doing a lot of scroller boxes this year, hopefully uh, one every month. Uh, I'll try and keep up with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks guys and I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!